dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness the union. Actually, <laughs> you know what? Let's mix this up a little. I mean, I'm a man in a floral suit <laughs> marrying two of my closest friends. No, clearly I am not a celebrant. And yes, these pants are a little bit tight. As we all know, Haley is a superstar director. So I figured we would tell today, just like a mini movie, complete with a beautiful set of extras. I hear the night calling, I take the back door. So, our story begins here. Exterior day. Sorry, correction. Exterior bloody beautiful day. Haley, a pint-sized acrobatic crossfit obsessed 30-something year old, has just walked down the aisle and is now standing across from the man she's going to spend the rest of her life with. Taylor, the most Australian sounding man with the biggest of hearts, Robin, you pray for this. stands across from his soon-to-be wife. Gee, Mrs. Brown, you're a 10. Hayley looks into Taylor's eyes and remembers how they first met. It was one of Brisbane's finest establishments. Don't stop, don't stop. The Chalk Hotel. I didn't think we'd end up here after you did the Harry Hole. When I went to the toilet at Chalk, the ugly lights come on and you and empty fled. A group of boys from the local cricket team arrived. Haley sees this small, unforgettably sounding guy making his friends laugh. Being a sucker for a good laugh, she was intrigued. Taylor is charming Haley over quite a few drinks. Chuckberry, strawberry, cranberry, and diggleberry, baby. Recollection goes, Taylor won Haley over by taking off her thongs and throwing them across the dance floor. Now, if you've been out with these two, you know that he still does this to the very day. Who would have ever thought that a cheeky Sunday beer at the Chalk would change my life forever? Possum pie, tater pie, moon pie, and papa. By the following Saturday, we'd already exchanged hundreds of text messages. Sunday, we had our first date, and Monday, you moved in. <laughs> now, let me tell you something else about Taylor. He and Hayley used to visit Hayley's granddad, Mac, on a weekly basis. He was in his 90s and he lived by himself since his wife and even when Hayley was overseas I wasn't uh, surprised to learn that Taylor would even go over by himself without Hayley um, to keep Mac company, especially on Saturdays. Oh, you can put it all on me and I'll do anything that you ask. And I know that Dad really appreciated that, Taylor, and I thank you for it. I'll be your rock and roll Johnny if you'll be my John Carter K. Taylor treated Mac not like the old person that he was, but like just a good oh, mate. You can put it all on me and I'll do anything that you wish. And the fact that they both put someone else ahead of themselves I'll be your rock says a lot about both Johnny of them. If you'll be my John and they are both cash, good people. Cash, 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 cash. Tay and I are so blessed to have two sets of parents who are still in a happy marriage. And I would like you to all please raise your glasses and toast to Narelle and Jeff who are celebrating 35 years together. To Narelle and Jeff. Please raise your glasses my wonderful parents who are celebrating over 40 years of marriage. To Steve and Jenny. Welcome to the Brown family, Hayley. No pressure, but you two uh, have a family name to carry on, and now I was ready to babysit. <laughs> You 
Taylor are my bucket list. Every milestone in this lifetime, I promise, will be ours to experience together. I promise, I promise to try and be half of the partner you are to me. I promise to make your needs my needs. Your dreams are mine. Fuck. <laughs> Smile in your pocket, that framing weight was keeping me honest. We both have a passion for travel, adventure, and excitement. This is why we keep asking ourselves, where to next? You let me make a wish, knowing you were it. We moved to London after 12 months and knew that this would be make or break. This is where we came up with our We Got This motto. That got us through London and for the rest of our lives. Taylor, thank you for putting up with us when you really just want to spend time with Hayley. I just want you for myself. And remember this. I just want you for myself. Want when she tells you she won't tell anyone, myself. we already know. I just want you for myself. Brandy, you're a lucky man. Don't fuck it up. My lungs, the finest we get on the market. Your lipstick was all over my never enough. You buzz in the door ain't coming. Boy, take a pick. I know you want to relive the shit cause it's too late. Over the past six and a half years, we've seen more than most people dream to see in a lifetime. We've seen and met very wealthy people and we've experienced and met some of the poorest people in the world. What I love about you, Tay, is that you're most comfortable with the latter. I'll never be great and I'm sorry. There is one thing that we know to be true from all of our experiences. And it was best said by Oscar Wilde. He said, who in love is poor? And looking around the room tonight, we're the richest people in the world.